I was raised in the church. My father was a pastor. I was the golden pastor's kid for the first 12 years of my life. I definitely rebelled as soon as I turned, you know, 13. Wanted to do everything the world had for me to do. So I kind of went between one drug and another when I realized they were developing problems and I couldn't ever like quit. I was living on my own in Indianapolis and I was drinking so heavily. Uh, I ended up with a blood clot in my heart and couldn't walk or do anything. I was like, I might die, I don't know. I called out to God who I hadn't spoken with in a long, long time. And was like, I don't know what you want me to do, but I'll do it. My aunt who lives in the area reached out to my mom, said, hey, there's this place in Akron that Zach can go to. So I come out here. I didn't know much other than it was a faith-based year-long program. Okay, well, I'm pro-Jesus. I figured if nothing else has worked, maybe Jesus can help. The director came up and said, you're Zach, aren't you? We talked on the phone. I said, uh, yeah. He said, you told me you had dreadlocks and you needed to wash your hair every so often and wanted to make sure that was okay. I said, yeah, yeah. And that, that was the guy that ran the show. When I walked through the doors, I didn't have time to be anything but honest with myself. So any kind of masks, facades, I worked on, okay, well, I gotta get rid of those. We all have a past. And, and Restore just kind of says, okay, where can we go from here? Not, you can't necessarily fix all the things that have already happened. And that's where a lot of other treatment centers focus on. So we're gonna build your relationship with God. We're going to totally transform your life. We're not gonna just fix the drug problem you have. How can we have you live a successful life in God's eyes? Romans 8.18 says that the suffering of the present time is not worth comparing to the glory that will be revealed to us. So I said, okay, well, I'm, I'm going for glory. And God changed my heart through the process. And the first thing was surrender. And I would actually write it on my forearm because I, I always wanted to do what Zach wanted to do. And I'm like, I gotta figure out what God wants Zach to do. So let me continuously surrender my will over. Once I began to just do a little thing right and just do a little thing that got, my life got easier. Why, why haven't I been doing this all along? And then when I got inserted back into the world, I worked full time, I did this, did that. I went out to see family, I went home. Then I realized like how tough it actually could be because the world is always gonna come at us. The world's always gonna be out there. Anything I did, I said, God, you're going with me. I'm taking you with me, doing any and everything I'm gonna do because it scares me if I don't. I was gonna do my quick 12 months in rehab and get out and go do what Zach wanted to do. Now I can choose to put myself on the throne and serve only me and then see where that gets me and God always leaves that option open. But as long as I put God on the throne, I live a fulfilled life. It's peace that surpasses all understanding and I can't explain it. And I think that's why Paul writes that in the Bible. I'm bringing others closer to Christ. And, and that is something that I, I couldn't even fathom myself doing. Jesus walked around homeless for three years, not knowing where he was gonna eat, sleep, or anything. Gave up his power in heaven to come down and serve us. And that's the guy we're striving to be. I said, okay, well, I was helped. There were people that came to my aid and met me where I was at when I was at my worst. How can I do that for the next man that comes through? And I'm going to do everything I can do to guide you to God. Restore is a place that you can come and not be judged and everyone understands exactly what you're going through. And we're going to walk with you all through it, through these four phases, these 12 months, give or take, and we're going to get you on your feet. We're not gonna let you walk out of the door until you feel ready.